Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, okay? So DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you are a Divine Masculine, honey, get out, okay? Get out, sir, okay? <laughs> Let us go ahead and see, y'all, what the messages are. I'm lighting this sage up, y'all. So I could cleanse the space. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is clearly present in this space right now. And I am absolutely 100,000% here for it. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for everything that you do. So very grateful. All right. <clears throat> let us see. Let us see. Put that over there with the many other lighters. All right. Let us see. What are the messages here for Divine Feminine? What does she need to know, Spirit? What does she need to know? Keep your heart chakra open. You're getting your wish fulfillment. You should know that that's the truth. All right. Yeah, obstacles and challenges are being overcome. Somebody's had an awakening or a reawakening. Yeah, so now love can begin. Okay. Let us see. Messages here for Divine Feminine. Okay, that was fast. We have destiny. Exactly. The will can go ahead and move forward because what's meant to be will be. And that's just what it is. <laughs> Okay, sada, sada, hunty. Whatever will be, will be. And this is in the will, so it shall be. All right. And we have wisdom here. Okay. Um, somebody has gotten to a place now. This is like the hierophant energy. Somebody has gotten to a place now where they know how to solely rely on their faith and what they feel in their heart and soul. You get what I'm saying? What your heart and soul tells you is right. You're going to believe that. Like I said, blue rays. That's who I'm reading for. The blue ray twin flames. If you don't know what it is, look it up. I don't read for just any group of people. I've come to that understanding a very long time ago you get what I'm saying a very specific mission that I'm on a very specific mission that you all have <laughs> you understand what I'm saying and so this is what you're stepping into all right let us see thank you spirit <clears throat> messages for divine feminine what are oh okay there we go so we have new beginnings can't make this shit up rest and rejuvenate Four of Swords Energy, you've manifested this, you predicted this, make sure you are meditating, make sure you are grounding yourself, make sure you are um, not being anxious, worried about the future and this and that. Like I said, you're going to get your heart's desires, so take it easy because this is the Seven of Cups Energy with the Choose Wisely. Maybe you have a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty, or just daydreaming a lot, fantasizing a lot, okay, about ace of pentacles prosperity begins this is either um new money and once again new opportunities new beginning with your masculine you get what i'm saying triumph it's the same energy that was in the last twin flame reading that i did talking about the twins ascending this is the chariot energy all right it came out with the blessings card here we go throat chakra this is the blue rays energy this is our chakra this is the chakra that the blue ray twin flames rule all right so it is imperative that you keep your throat chakra intact you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> For the sake and the benefit of your divine counterpart relationship. You understand? All right. Obviously, it's for the sake and the benefit of the entire collective, but it begins with you. You can't give nothing to nobody that you don't have to give, honey. You get what I'm saying? So make sure you're keeping yourself intact here. And what else do we have? Like I said, triumph, all right? Three of cups. So there's going to be a celebration coming in here soon, all right? What's the celebration? I'm guessing coming into union with your divine counterpart, all right? That clearly sounds like a celebration to me, all right? <laughs> How about you guys? Let us see. <clears throat> Let's get into the reading. Let's see what it is that feminine needs to know. Okay, that's really interesting. Fuck it, let's go. All right, so we're going to mix it up. We're going to be reading some reversals. Whatever needs to be read will be read. All right, let us see. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> that will of fortune is still in the upright, though. How about it? I feel like somebody is putting their guard down, okay, against their divine counterpart, letting them in. Okay, letting love in is what I just heard. Okay, in the last twin flame reading, <clears throat> prior to the most recent one i believe i said you know be careful of closing your heart off double will of fortune energy what i said Tuh. because when you know yourself when you know yourself you know your power you can use it the right way this is why i share the information that i do with you guys 
not just it's not for me you get what i'm saying i know it already i'm sharing it with you so that you can know it and you can actually heal and you can actually come into union versus just talking about the messy mess all the time yes the messy mess exists but that's not the point of the twin flame situation and i feel like a lot of people have just kind of taken it there and it's, it's but anyway back to the point so double emphasis on the wheel of fortune and you guys moving forward having a brand new beginning let's keep it pushing <clears throat> So let us see messages for feminine we have the eight of wands yeah so that's what it was there was some sort of lack of communication coming from your masculine or you know, lack of progression if you will all right but i feel like healing the throat chakra energy like i said will open up the communication they'll become so vulnerable with you they'll want to talk why wouldn't they you get what i'm saying if they were to meditate on their throat chakra you would do the same with them you're going to want to talk to them you're going to open up to them because so as long as you both are keeping this chakra and it's not to say disregard all the other chakras please don't you get what i'm saying like they're all important they all serve a very unique purpose but with the throat chakra i said that is the chakra that the blue rays rule you get what i'm saying just like how each zodiac sign rules a specific house same thing okay so different uh levels of light workers come from different they rule different bodies of chakras but the more you know moving forward okay so same thing vice versa i feel like yeah two of cups they're about to express their love for you the deep love passionate feelings that they have for you five of wands yeah there might be a lot of people that want their attention or a lot of people that want your attention but all you see is each other you see each other as the perfect match okay <clears throat> ace of wands so you're taking matters into your own hands okay yeah or they're taking matters into their own hands <laughs> more than likely both okay so let us see what we have here what does she need to know we have the king of swords yep and the two of swords here reverse yeah it's them they're taking matters into their own hands okay because they're like listen yeah four of wands i want to come into union with my divine counterpart that's it period i'm tired of this separation i can't do it anymore i don't like the way it feels it's not it's not what's up you get what i'm saying it's not what's up it's been long enough too damn long and that's it you get what i'm saying that's where they're coming from five of cups yeah they don't want to live in regret and remorse of woulda coulda shoulda had i no let me go ahead and do it right now the king of swords is accepting that truth speaking that truth throat shock for energy you understand what i'm saying to you okay so let us see here that's why i always say you show up as the queen of swords a lot in my readings right they show up as the king of swords a lot right mm -hmm. of course you're the empress and the emperor so you're every king every queen but i'm saying in regards to the chakra you rule okay so back to the point let's keep it ruling. Uh, ruling let's keep it ruling let's keep it rocking and moving so we have the seven of cups in reverse okay so yeah no more confusion no more uncertainty no more doubts no more hesitation no more head in the clouds remember it was up here knight of pentacles no more moving slow as molasses you get what i'm saying only clarity only breakthroughs only truth only understanding only being on the same page only that mutual respect that's it that's it yeah six of pentacles as soon as i said only that mutual respect and there's something coming out with it yeah because it's no more waiting no more waiting no more heartbreak now you have the mutual respect the mutual understanding you guys can move forward you get what i'm saying that's it <clears throat> so hmm, let us see i feel like wherever there's competition for either twin they're going to be removed yeah we got the karmic energy which is judgment card in reverse they're going to be removed that so you guys can come into union divine timing it's just time for those cycles to wrap on up you get what i'm saying some of you might be having a lot of headaches yeah we got the two of swords here reverse and the judgment card reverse this king of swords has accepted the fact that you know what i just have to end this cycle that's it yeah we got the page of pentacles i can't keep playing you get what i'm saying i can't keep being immature about this ten of cups i have to come into union with my person okay like yeah we got the three of swords here justice and reverse exactly this karmic shit is not gonna fly anymore that's kind of where they're coming from with it you get what i'm saying they're like yeah we be all the way good on that okay so <clears throat> we got the two of pentacles here ace of cups exactly like i said in the last reading it's more of a head and heart on one accord type of decision it's not one or over the other or one or the other you get what i'm saying they're both on the same accord here the masculine and feminine energies are balanced which means you two can come into union because they're balanced within the two of you ten of swords is an abrupt ending to the way that things were at present you get what i'm saying 
or the, the way that things were before the way that things are at present because i don't want y'all to be like oh my god she said we're at present i know how to talk but y'all also understand ebonics right god damn but moving on moving forward <laughs> sheesh all right all right so <clears throat> one second you guys Alright, <clears throat> we got three of swords here, okay? Mm, like I said, you guys are in a lot of heartache and pain without each other, period. This is why the cycle has to end, has to complete the world card. Ten of wands in reverse, yeah. That karmic shit is out. No more um, just letting things be as they are. This person wants to come in and stand up for this love because they genuinely believe in it. Yeah, they believe in it. For a minute now... It's like they didn't know, you know, like I said, seven of cups, it was a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. Maybe there was some misunderstanding, miscommunication, something. That energy is being cleared up here. Okay, let us see. Mm. Let us see, y'all. All right, so, yeah, we got karmic relationship. We got the sword and the rose. Yeah, there's a revelation. Somebody's seen the truth or somebody knows the truth. Now. Something they didn't know before, they know now, okay? Soulmates, oh, that's what it is. They know that you guys are twin flame soulmates, okay? We have hand of cards. So like I said, they're trying to play their hand of cards correctly. They're ready to take this risk, take this, uh, take this chance and come towards you. Like I said in the last reading, being very strategic. That's that seven of swords energy. Um, so some of you might feel like they're being suspicious. That's why, because they're trying to figure out how to go about this. You can expect a message from them of love, okay? Someone expressing how they genuinely feel towards you, thinking of you, and letting you know. Okay, so what it says, they're possibly looking at your photograph as well. Any videos that you have, okay, or that they have of you, we have separation. Yeah, like I said, they can't take this. Thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. They were unsure. They like you. They love you. They just didn't know how to play this hand of cards. What hand of cards? Well, if you or they are dealing with karmic or were dealing with karmics, that hand. You get what I'm saying? Like, how do I deal with this and wrap this? Okay, and do this. And you get what I'm saying? They're trying to figure out how to do it without hurting themselves or anybody involved, which is the best way to handle it. You don't want to hurt anybody, not you and not whoever the hell they, they separated from. So we have mask and we have keys on a ring. Yeah. So like, you know. Remember when I was talking to you guys about how some of you may have felt at one point in time the person was not showing you necessarily how they feel, wearing a mask, you know, being open to all their other options and you coming from a place of I'm not one of, I'm the one. There's a difference. Yeah, twin flames. I'm not one of, I'm the one. And remember I said this person is going to take matters into their own hands, go towards where they really want to be. All third parties, this and that are getting left in the past. Meaning, look at how they're leaving that in the in the dust. Where are they leaving in the dust? The third party energy. They know this is what they have to do. Crown chakra in order to come together with you. It's the three of pentacles energy. They have to get rid of all those other people that are around that could cause any type of conflict and try to take out their empress. They're like, that's not an option. Anybody that can put me in a five of cups place where I feel emotional loss and I feel like I can't have my person, I'm going to have to let go of. Here we go again with the karmic energy. So remember how I always talk to you guys about them having a backbone? Look what's here. They have to have a backbone. They have to feel secure within themselves. And look what's right underneath that, the base chakra, which the root chakra deals with what? Your sense of security within yourself and in life. You get what I'm saying? So they have to feel that. I could keep going, but that's what's here. You understand what I'm saying? So they want this rebirth. Ending, bring, new beginning. Exactly. But in order to have it, they have to end some things in other places. You get what I'm saying? So if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hagris.